What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the back nine of the challenge course at Palm Valley Country Club in Palm Springs, California. If you haven't seen the front nine, I recommend go watching that first, but let's begin the back nine. Hole number 10, par three, 200 yards. This is one of the hardest par threes in the golf course. The back nine has the harder par threes, the longer par threes. Let's get into it. A nice well-struck shot, just a little bit short of pin high, middle of the green, a little bit left. Leaving me with about 25 to 30 feet up the hill from left to right. A good stroke and some good speed gets me up to about a foot to tap in for par. And a par on the first hole. Hole 11, par 3, 133 yards. Just a simple 50 degree wedge straight at the green. A really well struck wedge, just didn't quite turn over the way that I wanted it to. But it left me with about six to eight feet for birdie. And there's our first birdie of the round. Hole number 12, par four. All you really want to do is hit about a four or a five iron out there right in the middle of the fairway. Just a double cross here, big pull to the left. Over that bunker, still in play, but not a good shot. Second shot here, about 90 yards straight at the pin. I threw this one just a little bit too far. It bounced just past the pin and rolled to just off the green. This ball's about 20 feet past the pin, sitting down in the rough. I put a little press forward stroke on it and a little pop stroke on it to get it to jump out of there. A good putt considering where I was, just to tap in here for par to remain at one under. Hole 13, this is the longest par three on the golf course. A uh, very difficult par three. This is a full four iron here. I catch this one just a little bit high on the face, but it's working out just a little bit short of the green. A chip here from about 30 yards. I pull this chip just a little bit, but it leaves me with about five or six feet for par. And a good putt there to make par, keeping me at one under. Hole 14, par four. This is the longest hole on the golf course. That lake right in the middle of the fairway prevents you from hitting driver, I probably should have hit a two iron, but instead I'm hitting three wood. If you watch the last video, you'll know that I hit a, just a couple really bad three woods. So I probably really shouldn't have hit three wood here. From the right rough, I had about 180 yards. A good shot. I had a little bit of a flyer lie. So it carried over the green and one hopped into this back bunker, but it was a good shot. The bunker shot itself here was relatively easy, but the green had a lot of slope from left to right. You can see here where the ball just funnels from left to right hard. But I was left with about 12 feet for par.
really good putt there. Sand save to stay at one under. Hole 15, all you really need here is about a four or five iron up the middle of the fairway. A really well struck shot with a nice draw up the middle of the fairway. About 120 yards in here on the wedge shot. Just a 50 degree wedge. I pulled this ball just a little bit, but it ended up being pin high left side of the green. About 20 feet here for birdie. Good speed on this putt, but it was never high enough. Tap in here in about two feet to stay at one under par. Hole 16, 188 yards, seven iron. Nice, easy draw here, just a little bit too far left of the green, but I ended up being about pin high. So really good distance control, but just a little bit too far left. Right here, I'm really just gonna hit a quick little chip, just trying to get it to about three feet, because I know I can make a three footer from par. I'm not worried too much about chipping in. Tap in from three feet to stay at one under par on this back nine. Hole 17, 150 yards, a nine iron here. This shot just rolled up the face a little bit, taking a little bit of distance off. So I ended up short of the green. Again, a chip here, just trying to get it up to about three feet to save my par. Not worried about chipping in. happen staying at one under par on the back nine hole 18 now if you watched the front nine you would know that i didn't hit a single driver on the front nine and if you were there with us you would know that i didn't hit a single driver on the driving range either which means pulling driver on the last hole of the day was not a good idea i have no idea where this is going to go but i felt like driving the green i should have just put the ego away taken a two iron and laid out to the middle of the fairway but instead, I try to rip driver and drive the green. And sure enough, way, way, way right. I'm almost certain it bounced off a house and went back into play. So to the owner of that house, I am sorry, but thank you for kicking me back into play. Now, I'm trying to hit a flop shot to a tight pin over a bunker from a downhill lie. It is not a good shot. And I just go right underneath of it and leave it short. It was not a good option. This chip here, I'm trying to get to about three or four feet. I fly it a little bit too far. And I end up with about 12 or 13 feet to make par, to stay under par on the back nine. A really good stroke here that just stayed on the lip, didn't fall in, and I tap in here for bogey. But a good even par round on the back nine, plus the five over from the front nine, gets me 69, five over on the round. Go check out my Instagram page. I will be posting there a lot more frequently, not only golf stuff, but also general life stuff. So go check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you. I'm out.